Hey, I'm a little paranoid about my background. I think I gotta change my background. Oh, that's cool. That's a, uh, an ashtray filled with joints. Legal marijuana joints as of January 1st. You may or may not know that. That thing's a, uh, amazing air. I'm gonna show you. Hang tight. So, this comes out. Here it is. This comes out. You fill it with water, put it in, it steams. I'll show you in a second. You can fill it with like oil. I got these uh, like different oils I fill it with. I've got mint oil extract, and this is eucalyptus oil extract. But this, I'm just going al dente, not really al dente, just uh, a la carte, that's what I'm going to say. Al dente means it's slightly hard. A la carte means it's by itself. So you put it in, got my extension cord that basically can reach around my entire house. That's right, I said reach around. And I kind of want to fix my background because right now that's my futon and my tables of shit. And... Um, it's more of a storage space. I mean, there's just, there's my sheet that I used to work out on. Um, you know, dirty clothes, clean clothes. There's the laptop and keyboard that Jeff uses when he games, when he comes over. And it's not a very enticing background. Like, I feel like if I have maybe like a painting on a wall right behind me, it might look more easy on the eyes, so to speak. Okay, I plugged in my machine. Let's see if I can show you how. So it takes a, a few seconds to get kicking, but this thing, it was like 40 bucks on Amazon or 35 bucks on Amazon. There was like a plastic smell a little bit came out at first. It might still be in there a little bit. But basically, I had come down with like a, uh, a bit of a chest cold after this performance that I did uh, at, the end of the, at the end of December. And I needed one of these. I didn't have one at the time. Can you hear it? Starting to, starting to kick in. This thing's fucking awesome. Um, yeah, this was one of the things I had in the background. I'm going to 3D printer, which still isn't built. Um, anyway, I wanted to show you something. Yeah, there it is. This. There's a couple things. So I ordered... I've been doing some research on this stuff. It's called Basis. By a company called Elysium. And uh, it's basically life extension pills in that it's happening now. Um, oh, it's so good for my lungs. Oh, this is the kind of high I like to get. So much moisture. Uh, it, it, it's a couple of chemicals that produces a coenzyme called NAD+, plus, which is, let me try and remember all the science. Uh, I think your body, the human body, kind of slows down its production of this coenzyme when it's in its like late teens, early 20s. And it, I think it's like, keeps your DNA healthy, keeps your... Uh, keeps the end caps of your chromosomes from deteriorating and they're called uh... oh this is so good they're called telomeres and uh, I've noticed since I started taking it which has only been a few days and it could be placebo you know it could always be placebo but when I'm singing it's way easier to sing high without belting could be a coincidence, but it might also have something to do with that tablet. So, basis by Elysium, uh, I suggest doing some research and <laughs> um, checking it out on your own. Steve Tedeschi just said, how do I do that? And I said, I want you to become an internet personality and make several hundreds of millions of dollars, which I really want to say several hundreds of online videos. You've got to meet this guy, Steve Tedeschi. He's, I've known him since sixth grade, and he's fucking hilarious. He's one of the gamers in my new gaming channel called The Ogre Den. Come check it out. We've been recording our game footage and putting it online. 
and we're still in the early days of the editing. We don't have like a, a serious intro yet, and we're still toying with um, getting at, smoothing out the lag. Uh, my my machine had a lot of lag the last time we did it. Bryce's machine had a lot of lag the last time we did it. We played a lot of Seven Days to Die on a, this awesome Jungle Gym PDP server. In addition to that, here's a couple other supplements I've been taking. Chlorella. This is a type of seaweed, and they, they put it up there with spirulina as like a superfood. So you got spirulina and uh, chlorella. And when you get chlorella, you want to get the chlorella that's already broken down. Uh, there's a good video about it, I think. Some doctor on YouTube was talking about it. And uh, you want to make sure that it's like the cell walls of the chlorella already broken down in the supplement, because they sell supplements where it's not broken, where it's like, and your body can't really break the cell walls down. So if, it, if you get chlorella that's not broken, it's going to just pass right through you and you're going to shit it out. But the broken stuff feeds you the nutrients, and it is incredible. detoxification and cell regeneration I'm going full like meditation chamber I did eat bread earlier and meat which I know is not the ideal diet but um, I'm fully like into I want to see how young my body can stay for as long as possible this is my goal if I could be like 700 years old and still look like this and I think that this is the beginning of like cellular treatment like they keep talking about genetic therapy like we're gonna live life extension we're gonna live so much longer because of genetic therapy this is the shit this is uh, edits the chromosomes which are which are create your genes or is it the other way around your genes create your chromosomes your dna creates your chromosomes which creates your genes i think i'm not a bioscientist but i play one on youtube and then here's the other the final one that I want to show you right now. It's called Alpha Brain. It's by a company called Onnit. And it is a memory and focus enhancer with, it's got four herbs in it. Bacopa. It's a, because uh, I used to take this stuff called Ginkgo biloba, it's an herb, and I noticed immediately uh, memory enhancement, focus enhancement. Like, I was like, whoa, I can focus hardcore right now. And it would really, my body felt, it would get really hot. Like, it would heat me up, and I'd have to drink a lot of water to stay from, like, going into, like, a feverish heat. Um, this stuff, I haven't noticed any, any heating up. I've only had it for two days. Uh, yesterday, I took two of them. Today, I took one. And I could feel it yesterday. I think it needs to be supplemented with working out, like at least some sweating, like like 15. Oh yeah, look at that. So I'm working out this. I have like a sty in my eye, I'm slowly working it out of my eye. It's a pain in the ass. Oh man. So check out On It. Uh, it's a great company by a guy named Aubrey Marcus, who's this just fucking psycho not genius in that he's a psychonaut and then he likes psychedelic drugs and body and mind health. And Joe Rogan is also a part owner of On It. They highly recommend it. I highly recommend it so far. Oh yeah, like I said, here's my eucalyptus oil. It's amazing. I put it in my water. Sometimes I'll put, I have mint oil and eucalyptus oil. And I, for a while, for like a week, I was just dosing my water with mint. At the moment, there's just lemon in here. So that's what's going on with me. You know, I got my Nag Champa, uh, best incense in the world that I know of. I have a fucking dead plant that I got to get rid of. I have, uh, here's my jar of weed. I buy it by the ounce. It's just a, it's just a bunch of shake. Um, the great thing about buying it, that it's legal and that it's, I can get it for 80 bucks for an ounce, which is amazing. It's just shake. And I think it's like an indica blend. But the nice thing, I, maybe it's just that I've kind of grown through it because when I was in my late 20s, my mid to late 20s, I smoked a lot of fucking pot, probably too much pot. Like many people might ar would argue that I smoked too much pot. I, I felt high as fuck. I was slow. Didn't get as much done as I could have gotten done maybe. But I've learned, you know, either either it's just that having it around and having it legal, it, it, like get takes away the, the constant desire to get more. I got to get it. I got to sneak it. 
or maybe it's just that I've, I've grown through it and I don't need it anymore. My body doesn't need it right now because I don't smoke that much. I used to just smoke every day. You know, I'd get up, smoke in the afternoon, smoke at night. It was a big thing. We'd be like, hey, you want to come smoke? Hey, you want to smoke? And now it's just like I have so much of it that it's not on my mind. And when people are like, what are you doing later? My answer is not smoking pot. It's writing. Although I might smoke pot and write. It's not about the smoking pot. You know, do you know what I'm talking about? Like, I used to be like, hey, want to come over and smoke pot? And I'll be like, hey, want to come over and play video games? Or do you want to come over and play music? And the pot's just like, un, you don't have to, it's unspe unspoken. Obviously, we're going to smoke pot. It's there. But it does get you high. And you don't always need to get high. And smoking's not the best thing for a singing voice. Is it not? Is it not? Got my dental floss. This is really bringing out the red in my eye. And then it's clearing it up. A cup of coffee, also acidic, not the uh, the best. The best thing to eat or drink for if I want to reduce swelling. Obviously, acidity is probably. So I want to stay away from bread, meat, acidic food. I was eating a lot of blueberries. I noticed because I was in Ohio and I was eating a lot of like crap, not crappy food, but like potato, like, you know, sauerkraut and pork. I was eating meat like a madman, salty foods, chips and shit. And I noticed like uh, the inflammation kicked up. And then when I got back to L.A., I, I made this huge pot of stew. And after like three days of just dosing myself with vegetable stew, the swelling was like not present. It was gone. Every My eye looked fine. My My voice sounded great. But I'm not an extremist, so you may catch me eating different kinds of foods at different kinds of time. You know I have this book, which I haven't read yet. I'm just showing you all my shit. Uh, other than that, things are good. going to be recording a song called Perfection is a Nuisance, which I wrote like a week after I moved to Ohio, like five years ago or four years ago. I'm finally professionally recording it on Thursday. We're going to finish it. It sounds great. Let me play you a clip of it if I can. Perfection. Just a touch. Just a touch. Here, I'll play something later. It gets good later, you know? No stopping up. No stopping. Walls to break down. Lose my pick, axe, pick you. Did I tell you I picked you? Alright, this your is a good part. Arms, your arms are strong, so long. It's something that when you really feel it. I wouldn't have it any other way. Wouldn't have it any other way. Oh. So uh, it's gonna be good. So we're gonna work on the guitar track, make it sound better, make it so uh, you can dance to it, you know, so the rhythm's complete. And that's my life. I'm writing right now about Chelsea Manning, who's sentenced 35 years in solitary confinement, was just commuted by President Barack Obama in his final days of office. Thank you, Barack. You did the right thing. Chelsea, be free. Hope you're having a great day. Catch you later.